Hi, welcome to the video AWS Elastic Beanstalk How to Deploy Simple Java Web Application on Tomcat 8.5 I am Nama Ming at Code Java.net In this video, I'd love to share with you the steps uh, to deploy a Java web application with our database running on Apache Tomcat 8.5 using Elastic Beanstalk Web Console with the following steps Test a sample Java web application on localhost and then create a new application in Elastic Beanstalk Console and configure service access and add environment variable and deploy the application access the newly deployed application check AWS related services terminate environment and undeploy the application note that using Elastic Beanstalk is free but you will have to pay AWS resources used by the applications such as EC2, S3, RDB. Here are some uh, Tomcat 8.5 runtime requirements Java 7 or later, Servlet API 3.1 or older. That means the Java web application must be compatible with Java 7 or newer and use uh, Servlet APIs. Uh, the code that uses Java X.Servlet package and Java applications using Jakarta Servlet API. And the code that uses Jakarta.Servlet package must run on Tomcat version 10. And Elastic Beanstalk supports deployment on Tomcat 8.5 running on 64 bit Amazon Linux to virtual server with either Cretto 8 Java 8 or Cretto 11 Java 11. And to follow this video, I suppose that you already have an AWS account which is the root user and have an IAM user that has administrative access and a deployable one file of a Java web application. Note that you must have a valid credit or debit card uh, in order to sign up for an AWS account and it will be just about 1 to 2 USD for account verification. If you have not uh, signed up for an AWS account, I recommend you to check, uh, follow this video how to create an AWS account on my YouTube channel at this URL to create your own AWS account. And to create uh, IAM users, I recommend you uh, follow this video how to create IAM users on AWS on my YouTube channel at this uh, URL. And for a sample Java web application running on uh, Tomcat 9 or older, I use this one on my Java blog. This is a uh, form handling service uh, uh, demo, uh, a simple Java web application. You can download the WOM file uh, from my Java blog uh, at this URL. Let me review some key concepts in Elastic Beanstalk. You know, Elastic Beanstalk is the service for deploying and scaling web applications and services on AWS Cloud. And developers can quickly launch applications on AWS Cloud without the complexity of provisioning and managing underlying infrastructure. And application is a logical collection of environments, versions, and environment configurations and version is a specific labeled iteration of deployable code for an application and environment is the collection of resources running an application version and environment configuration is the collection of parameters and settings that define how an environment and its associated resource behave and an application can have many versions and each version is unique and each environment runs only one application version at a time you can run the same application version or different application versions in many uh, environments simultaneously. Now, let me download a sample Java web application and test it and run it on localhost. So click this link. Go to my code Java blog, the article how to handle HTML form data with Java servlet. Go to the end of the article and you can see the link to download the WAR file, deployable WAR file. Click here. Okay. 
Okay, so I have the Word file uh, downloaded here. You see, from handling service.word. And let me uh, deploy this Word file uh, onto a local Apache Tomcat on my computer. So I open a new uh, terminal window. Okay, and change the connectory to downloads. And you see the Word file here. And I have the installation of Apache Tomcat in my user home directory here. Apache Tomcat version 8.5.95. So I go to Apache Tomcat, go to bin, and I sorry, I need to copy the Word file into the web apps directory. So let me copy download from handling. Sorry, it should be home downloads from handling submit not work into web apps. Okay, it was copied here, and let me start the server to deploy this work file. Go to B. SH Catalina SH to start the server. Okay, you see Tomcat started. And let me let me test uh, the sample application. Uh, let me check. You can see a new directory uh, here from handling submit for the new application. Okay, let me access the application from handling sublit and it has the HTML file uh, from demo.html ok this is a very basic uh, Java web application that shows a form and we enter some values and click submit ok let me stop to cut Now, let's sign in to AWS Management Web Console at aws.amazon.com. Click sign in to the console button. And I'm going to sign in using an IAM user. Enter account ID, IAM username, and password. Sign in. All right, I have uh, signed uh, AWS Management Console, and you can see the uh, recently visited services. Yeah, mm, if you don't see how to, uh, if you don't see Elastic Beanstalk, go to Menu Services, Compute, and you can see Elastic Beanstalk here. Go to Elastic Beanstalk uh, Management Console, and. For now, I don't have any applications here. Okay, and click the button to create application here. Okay, and you can see there are six steps uh, for deploying uh, application on AWS using Elastic Beanstalk. The first step is configure environment. We choose the option web server environment to run the website web application. Enter the application name. For example, my Java web app. Okay, and then it automatically suggests the environment name like this. And then we specify subdomain for the application under the region. And domain, top level domain is uh, elastic being stuck. Not that uh, I choose my AWS region is US East Ohio. So that's why as in the domain here, it has the uh, subdomain is US East 2. You can choose the AWS region of the choice here. Okay, and enter uh, subdomain or the applying for auto generated value. I enter my Java web app. Okay, 
click the button check availability okay this uh, domain is available you see the domain of the device application will be like this the custom domain I specify and then the region name and then uh, top level domain elasticbeanstock.com okay then in the platform type section here yeah, manage platform and choose platform is Tomcat and you can see uh, platform branch there are Tomcat 10, Tomcat uh, 8.5 uh, you can choose uh, Tomcat 8.5 with Cretto 11 running on 64 bit Amazon Linux 2 or Tomcat 8.5 with Cretto 8 running on 64 bit Amazon Linux 2. Here yeah, I choose uh, Tomcat 8.5 uh, with Cretto 8 running on 64 bit Amazon Linux 2. And under the application code section here, yeah, choose upload the code and the version label. Oh, version 1 and choose local file here and choose file and choose the word file which was downloaded before click open ok and in the preset uh, use the default single instance because uh, this uh, department is for testing purpose click next to proceed the next step the second step the second step is configure service access Note that you must manually create a new row for EC2 instance if not exist that has the following process AWS Elastic Beanstalk Web Tier, AWS Elastic Beanstalk Worker Tier, and AWS Elastic Beanstalk Multi Container Docker. And let Elastic Beanstalk create a new service row or use an existing one if exist. Let me show you how to do this second step configure service access here yeah. uh, click create and use new service row if you deploy in the application for the first time on AWS and it suggests the row name here you can see the view permission details here okay close and under EC2 instance profile click view permission details and you can see it requires three permissions web tier, multi-container docker, and worker tier ok ok and uh, in this uh, dialog you can click the link I am console here to go to uh, identity and access a management console to create a new role for EC2 instance click roles menu here ok and click create role button AWS service choose EC2 and click next and here in the add permissions page search for AWS elastic bean stock ok and choose um, web tier worker tier and multi container docker and click next and enter the role name as for example AWS Elastic bean stock EC2. Okay, and click create a row button. Okay, you see the new row has been created. AWS Elastic bean stock EC2. Close this uh, tab. Come back to the second step. Click refresh button here. Yeah and choose the new row here ok and click next the third step is optional if you want to customize networking database you can modify the default settings here and just click next and the fourth step is also optional configure instance traffic and scaling just click next and the fifth step uh, to configure updates, monitoring, and logging. This is optional, but uh, we need to add a new uh, environment property for Java web application under the environment properties section here. Note that by default, 
from customer listens on port 8080, but Elastic Beanstalk assumes that the application will listen on, on port 5000. So we need to specify an uh, environment variable with the name is Catalina underscore base underscore port and the value is 5000. So let's come back to the fifth step here under environment property section click add environment property button and enter the name is Catalina underscore base underscore port and value is 5000 and click next uh, go to the last step uh, that allows us to review all the information you can see review all the settings in each step step 1, step 2 step 2, configure service access step 3, step 4, step 5 ok and click uh, submit to start the deployment process ok you see it shows the environment page my java web app test and environment overview you can see how is currently unknown because the deployment is just started you can see the login information in the events tab here create environment is starting and you see using elastic being stock event is as amazon s3 storage bucket for environment data that means uh, your application uh, deployment artifact the world file will be uploaded uh, to amazon s3 you can see the platform here Tomcat 8.5 with Cracto 8 you can see on the left as uh, many items that allow you to access the applications environments configuration of the current environment and you can see the events uh, are frequently or repeatedly updated with new information you see created uh, EIP waiting for EC2 instances to launch this uh, may take a few minutes you can see the last message appears in the blue bar here you can see the application name my java web app and the domain we after deployment successful we can click on the domain to access the newly deployed application and you can see environment successfully launched that means I have successfully deployed my Java web application uh, on uh, AWS uh, Elastic Beanstalk uh, running on Tomcat 8.5. You can see the health status is OK. And the last message in the event step is successfully launch environment here. Yeah. You can check the logs here. Yeah. Click uh, last 100 lines to retrieve the log. So you can see. Uh, what is happening ok this is a login and you can see you see Apache Tomcat server 8.5.93 started you see now let me test the newly deployed Java web application click the domain link here and of course I got the error for for not far because uh, this some application doesn't have the default home page I must enter the HTML file here from demo.html ok you see it works now let me enter some value test user test past English mail test deployment on AWS Elastic Beans Top Technology. Okay, click submit. Okay, you see it works. And you know when an application is uh, deployed, Elastic Beans Top uh, uses uh, several AWS resources. Uh, such as S3, uh, EC2, and IAM. So uh, check the S3 here. Yeah. S3 
for storage here. If you don't see S3 here, you can go to the menu storage S3. And you see a new bucket created here. And you can see the Word file uh, uploaded into this bucket on Amazon S3. Okay. And the second service used uh, by the application is EC2 uh, for virtual server. If you don't see EC2 here, you can click Compute EC2. And you can see uh, there's one instance running, one virtual server is running for the name, is the environment name, instance ID, status running. You can see the details of this virtual server here. Very detailed information. And the last one used by the sample Java web application is IAM. If you don't see IAM here, go to uh, security here and click IAM here. And you see a new row created for the AWS Elastic Beanstalk Service row here. This row was automatically created. This was uh, manually created as you have seen so far. To stop a running application, you will terminate the environment associated with the application version. So in uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk Management Console, click Applications and you can see environments associated uh, with the application my Java web app and you can see the environment here click environment name to see the environment detail page and you can see the action button here you can terminate the environment to stop uh, the running application the running version version 1 here click action click terminate environment and you see the warning message Confirm environment termination. Enter the environment name. My Java web app dash n. Terminate. It will stop uh, all the address resources used by the application, and the uh, environment will be uh, terminated. And after that, if we want to run the application version again, you can restore the environment click environments here applications environment check environment and you can see the button the menu restore environment it is uh, being uh, terminated so we don't see uh, any uh, enable action menu items here And you can see the status of the environment is now terminated. Click and you can see it has not uh, updated. You can see the message uh, terminate environment completed successfully. Go to environment. You see the status is terminated. If you want to run the application version again, check the environment name and you can restore it by choosing the action menu item restore environment here and when an application is no longer needed you can remove it and deploy it uh, from elastic beanstalk so go to uh, elastic beanstalk management console go to applications and click the application name you want to and deploy you want to remove and click actions and delete application note that it uh, will uh, terminate the associated associated environments enter the name of the application to confirm my java web app click delete and it may take a few minutes to uh, uh, delete an application you see the message my java web app application is being deleted all right so far you have learned how to deploy a simple java web application without database running on apache tomcat version 
using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Let me sum up the key points you need to remember. In the configure service access, you must manually create a new role for EC2 instance. If not exist, that has the three following policies. AWS Elastic Beanstalk Web Tier, AWS Elastic Beanstalk Worker Tier, and AWS Elastic Beanstalk Multi-Container Docker, and let Elastic Beanstalk create a new service role or use an existing use an existing one if exists and know that uh, by default uh, Tomcat server listens on port 8080 but Elastic Beanstalk assumes that the application will listening uh, on port 5000 so we need to specify an environment variable with the name is Catalina underscore base underscore bot and value is 5000 so the Java web application uh, will be accessible via the internet I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.